Hello everyone and welcome to my second last Christmas card idea for this year. This one is very simple, it is not only perfect for beginners, but also it's very quick to make. So if you need last minute Christmas cards, this is definitely for you. And since this is a very quick card design, I'm making two cards, one with acrylic paints and one with watercolors. I'm starting with acrylic paints as this was my original idea. First, I wrote the greeting just to know where the tree needs to end. My handwriting is all over the place, very inconsistent. So what helps me is to write it with a pencil first and then go over it with my pen. In this case, I'm going to be using a black fine liner and I'm going to write it later. Next, I mixed my paints and I was painting simple lines, expanding them as I was moving downwards. You can use whatever colors and shades you want. I tried to make both card colors to look similar and mixing acrylic paints to make my own colors I find much easier than with watercolors. So I try to match them to the watercolor shades I will be using for my second card. The theme here is blue-green and I also use a gold paint, which I knew right away I want to use when I decided to paint this tree. And as I said, as I was painting, I was increasing the width of the lines. I also painted the lines right next to each other without leaving any gaps, as this is a look I prefer. The brush I used here is a flat brush in the size quarter inch. Are brushes measured in inches? I'm not sure. There is quarter written on the brush. If you don't have such a brush, you can use a round brush instead. You just don't want to use a brush that is too big. This is an A6 card in the US that would be similar to A2, which is not a big size. Plus I cut my cardstock smaller than the card base. So using a bigger brush, there would be hardly any lines. But alternatively, you can make a five by seven card. Lastly, I painted the gold star at the top of the tree using the gold paint. But moving on the second card where I used watercolors, I did the same here as on the other card. I started with a greeting, writing it with my pencil, and then I painted the lines of the tree. For the gold, I used the Gonzai Tambi Starry Colors from Koretake. And for the tree, I'm using watercolors that I bought at Lidl. They were very cheap. If you don't know Lidl, then you might know Aldi, which is a very similar store. The watercolors came in tubes, so I bought a palette, squeezed them out and let them dry. The acrylic paints that I used on the first card were quite cheap as well. Not as much as the ones from Lidl though. I will have all the products listed over on my website. The link is in the description below. So I finished the watercolor tree, painting in the tree stem and the star. I let both panels dry and then I went quickly over the greeting with a black fine liner. The next thing I wanted to do is to use a red paint to add red dots across the panel to create decoration, ornaments. Both paint sets have really nice red paints, but the acrylic set, yeah, the paint was too thick and a little bit dry. So as a card maker, I have a few special products for embellishing the card. And one of those products are these Nuvo Drops. This is a liquid that hardens and creates something like enamel dots. I try to keep such products out of cards like these as they're supposed to be budget and beginner friendly with products that you can get anywhere. And these Nuvo Drops, you can mostly get only online. So I hope you don't mind. I just wanted to have some dots on the tree. But as I said, my original idea was to use the red paint for the ornaments. So you can do that instead if you do not have such products like the Nuvo Drops. The last step is to adhere the panels on top of a card base. I'm using here a double-sided adhesive and I attached it on the back of the panels. And for the card base, I used a craft cardstock. If you do not have separate card bases, you can fold the watercolor cardstock in half, but be careful here as it's a thick cardstock and it can crack. So the cards are finished. I'm really happy that I added the red dots. They just give something extra to the tree. And I absolutely love the gold paint. You can see here in the light, it really shines. While I still have one more Christmas card to go, I will be making a card with distress ink background. This is my last video for this year with a voiceover. So I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. I hope you will be able to spend it the way you like it. I will be taking a break from making card videos. Not from making cards, I still have a few cards to make. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the new year.